Hello YouTube, what is going on and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Village Upgrade Series where we transform a Minecraft vanilla village into a modern little like kind of a society village kind of thing. In the last episode we did do the blacksmith now. The response on that video was pretty amazing. I think that thing's on like 80, like 90k views right now which is absolutely mad things. Like that is unreal like trust thank you so much for the support on this you guys seem to be liking the series i'm trying not to oversaturate my channel with the transforming videos and do modern houses as well because i feel like a lot of people in this community are just chucking transforming videos out into like uh the kind of like youtube community to try and get views but like they're kind of like a special little video that you do now and then like that's how i feel anyway um i'm gonna turn my sounds down because these villages are driving me freaking crazy but as you can see the modern village is coming along and uh, you guys have been putting some things in the comment section below and I've taken that into consideration today. And today we're going to be transforming the 5x5 small modern, no small village house, sorry it's not modern, but it will be modern. Um, yeah, the small village hut or house or whatever you want to call it, I think it's a house. I think this little thing's the hut here, this like uh, little like completely like log thing on top. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the like hut and that's the house, so... Small village house, we're going to be doing this today, and of course we're going to be transforming it to a modern structure. So, um, we're going to be using some quartz, some stone slabs, uh, some birch wood, and some birch fence. Uh, what we're going to be doing is laying our foundation first with some quartz blocks. Of course, we're going to be keeping it pretty much the same kind of shape um, and size, but we might add some like features on the outside just to kind of give it a little uh, extra kind of like a uh, buzz and uh, make it look a little bit better. So, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, base shape. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four. And then, of course, five. And we're going to fill it in with nine birch wood planks. Okay. So, if you can't see the like uh, birch with the quartz in the shaders mod, I'm using Chocopic shaders mod. If anyone is uh, kind of like interested, because some people are interested, you know, and some people, uh, you know, always forget to like uh, look in the description and stuff, which is okay. So, uh, I'm just telling you guys now so you kind of know where to look. Here, we're going to place a one, two, three four five and we're gonna leave it just like that okay one two three four five and we're gonna do that on each side okay each side is gonna be five blocks tall and we're gonna bring it over at the top just like this okay so one two three like so okay so this is what we should have from the front and we're gonna go in and grab ourselves some quartz stairs maybe and i think we're just gonna place one in the center exactly the same as this side and we could actually go in and maybe grab ourselves some uh, wooden trap doors or actually we could go with the iron trap doors and what we could do is place them on the inside like that on either side dig down and under this block place a, uh, a little kind of redstone torch on this side do exactly the same dig under place a redstone torch and then refill the grass of course on top just like that and we can get rid of these little materials because we don't need them now but it kind of just gives it a little like banister i guess to the stairs so when you walk up i don't know add maybe like a bit of realism to it i don't know it just kind of looks pretty cool though eh? um at the sides i think what we're going to be doing is let's see let's place ourselves some what do we want to place i'm just trying to think of a nice material we could use which doesn't really kind of like um like clash with the quartz i'm thinking maybe some stone brick we could go in and have a look at that let's see the stone brick um what do i want to place it that is a good freaking question what if we go in and grab ourselves another quartz quartz pillars maybe could look pretty cool so let's see one two three and one, two, three, and then we'll delete these blocks here and place another one just like that. We'll do an upside down quartz stair like so. Delete this block here and we'll replace that with some glass panes maybe. Like that. And we'll go in and grab ourselves a birch door. Hobble on to the back of this and place it down like so. So the front of the little hut or house is looking like this. That looks pretty cool actually. I'm liking the kind of... um. I guess birchy feel to the door and then we've got this little like stair banister it kind of looks like a little armchair but you know never mind um we know what it is we could also add maybe a um like a doorbell feature so the doorbell kind of just sits there like that there's no really like purpose to that but you could put it there for aesthetics um you know it is what it is and let's see on this side of thing we're going to carry on this kind of quartzy look so one two three and then four one two three and then four on the other side repeat that so break them to one two three four and one two three four i think what we could be doing is going in grabbing ourselves some quartz stairs placing them upside down like so on both sides like that and then placing two little glass panes on either side oh i can't even reach that dude what was i trying to do one two like so 
And then on the back here, we kind of want to mix it up. Like, I don't want to keep it, like, completely the same. Um, I'm not going to put a door on the back. That's definite no-no. I don't want to do that because this one doesn't have a door. I kind of don't want to completely, uh, like, change up the kind of look. So let's see. Maybe if we go one, two, three, four, like that. One, two, three, four, like that. Delete these two here. Place ourselves. Maybe just a quartz block and a quartz block. We place three, like so, along the back. And then we grab ourselves some, let's see, grab ourselves some just coarse dirt, maybe, or dirt, doesn't really matter, I mean, it's the same kind of stuff. One, two, three, like this. We go in, we grab ourselves some wooden trap doors, place them all the way around, like so. We could move this down by one, I think. Let's move it down like that, okay? We'll place trap doors all the way around, they could be iron trap doors, they could be wooden trap doors, it doesn't really matter. Um, and then we can just place ourselves some, let's grab a birch leaf, an azure bullet, and maybe just a tall grass. A little birch leaf, maybe in the middle, or at the side, it doesn't really matter. And then something like that, maybe. Let's replace that. That looks pretty cool, or we could just place another, um, maybe like a pink tulip or something. Just on the back like that, just to kind of like spice it up a bit, because it's a bit plain. As you can see on the back, there's not really much to it on all the sides, really, on these builds. So I'm thinking maybe if it just like, uh... I don't know, it just adds to it, really. Um, it's up to you whether you put that. I mean, if you really don't want to go out like the space, don't put it. But if you don't mind, it kind of like breaking the rules a little bit. You know, it is what it is. Break these three, actually, and we can replace them with some glass as well. Just to make them the same height as the windows on the sides of the house. And we should carry on and we should add a roof next, actually. Okay, so next we're going to be adding a roof. And I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little bit raspy um, in this video. Like, my throat has been hurting for about two weeks now and... You know, if you've been watching my other videos, you'll know my throat hasn't been in the best of condition. So I'm sorry about that, but it is what it is. We're going to grab ourselves some stone brick slabs now. You could actually use the normal stone slabs um, like we did there. But for the most part, we've been using these uh, stone slabs, uh, stone brick slabs, sorry, as you can see on the houses and the church over in the distance. So let's see. Let's surround this um, with some stone brick slabs and see what we get from it. Let's have a little look at this. Um, I mean, it's probably going to look quite nice, actually. Um, we could bring it up by one more. One, two, three, four, five. Like this. That is kind of cool. Um, how do we want to do this? Ah, actually, I do have a little cool idea what we could do. Um, let's see. Let's grab ourselves more quartz. Place a middle block. And let's just see what this looks like. So place one on the side here like that. Four on each side. Four on each side. Kind of giving it like a little helmet or hat. Um, or whatever you want to call it. I mean, it doesn't really look like that. But, you know, it could do. Let's place one block there like so. Okay one block up like that and we're just going to carry this little design on um with the stone brick stairs and it should add up to the block we placed on top of that the only problem is it's going to leave us a little gap inside of here which really isn't very pleasant so maybe if we could figure out a design to kind of stop that we're going to place three there three there like that and let's see we need to kind of figure out a design oh that is actually completely fixed why did i Oh, that looks absolutely fine. I'm liking that. Um, so let's see if we do that. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, like so. And then placing the middle one there. And joining that up just like so. What is going to occur is these little uh, white kind of things going on here. Quartz block, quartz block, quartz block, quartz block. There isn't really a way to get around that, but it doesn't actually look too bad. And what you could do is actually maybe like disguise it a little bit on top. Um, we could grab ourselves the grey... Carpet, maybe? No, nah, that's very, very dark. I mean, maybe the light carpet. That kind of works a bit better. I mean, it just kind of adds to it. Um, There's no real purpose for it. You could place it on all of them. But, uh, hey, it is what it is. If you guys would like to on the back here, I could recommend putting in, like, a little, like, chimney design. It looks pretty funky. I mean, why the hell not, really? Um, It's all up to you just adding these little details. I'm going to place it on the top like so. Looking like that from the bottom. So we've turned this little kind of like boring stone wooden kind of hut into this little bad boy. I mean, this looks pretty cool in my opinion. On the inside, I mean, for what goes for like interior, I mean, it's a hut. It's very, very small. Um, In like vanilla Minecraft, I'm pretty sure they don't come with any at all, um, which kind of sucks. I'm trying to think of a way we could fix the interior kind of roofing, but I don't think there's honestly going to be a way here. Uh, Let's see. Actually, there is. If we place this going along the middle, like that, so one above um, this, like, glass block here, and then we just place it along the sides, down by one, it kind of makes a little curve at the top, but it kind of looks very, very dark in here. I mean, what I would do personally, if you were to have this as a house, I'd place the bed, 
just like this. Okay, and then what I do is maybe go and grab some science because I'm pretty sure you can place science around the beds. Okay, so it kind of just looks pretty cool. It's like a cot or cradle or whatever you want to call it. Um, let's see, what else do we want to do just now? Maybe place some uh, little iron trapdoors in here just for some shelving units. I mean, it doesn't do anything in actual Minecraft, but it just looks good um, in the build. But the bed will actually work, and then maybe you could place... Uh, let's see, let's grab the kind of stuff you'd use in uh, Minecraft itself. We could grab ourselves the chest. You could still open that just there, which would work perfectly. Um, can you? Let's see. No, it doesn't matter. We can leave that there just like that. It's fine. Furnace and crafting table, I'm just going to put in the floor there so you could use them. And it's not going to matter too much. And then what else do you use um, in Minecraft? Like, I don't play vanilla very much, so it's very difficult for me to kind of understand where you guys kind of, uh, like, need crap from. Um, oh, dear. What a mistake to make it. Um, damn it. Well, I'm just going to replace that real quick. And we'll pretend like I never deleted the block under that in the first place. Perfect. Um, anvil, anvil, anvil. Where do we want to place this? Um, we can actually delete that and place... Oh, no, we could not. Oh, crap. Um, that fell. I don't really know how we go about doing this. Can that go there? No. If we delete that block on the end of this bed and place that there, the anvil can go on top of the shelf. Okay, it's pretty dirt, but it does go there, and it looks kind of cool. Maybe? I don't know. It's up to you. I'm going to just delete that one and keep the anvil there on the shelf. Chest is there, and uh, then you've got your kind of furnace and stuff. Apart from that, guys, I don't really know what to do. You could place a little lighting design, actually, with a endrod and a skeleton skull. You place the block there. You place the skeleton skull facing you, which would have to delete a few of these blocks, actually, uh, to get out of there. Replace that block there. Delete this, that goes there, and then the end rod goes on top like so, creating this kind of little lamp design, which looks very, very good, and because the skull is facing the other way, you cannot see the ugly little derpy face on the other side, which is really, really nice because, you know, you don't want to, like, face on your lamp. We're going to change the weather to clear because outside, I'm pretty sure it's raining. And that is it, guys. That is the 5x5 Minecraft village house slash hut kind of transformation video. We could put, uh, let's see, let's go grab our diorite. Put a little path outside. I mean, it's not really going to matter too much. And then you could go in and also grab some, let's see, just some plants really to kind of spice up the place. At the side, you could place a few like under here. Boom and boom. Just like so. I mean, it doesn't matter. It just is up to you at this point. Like, you could add anything you wanted. You could add like more of these like planters around the side. Maybe you wanted to place one here. Like so. I mean, it would definitely look pretty nice. I mean, let's see. You could actually, I'm going to show you guys how to do it with the iron doors because I did it with the um, the wooden ones here. Just face them going this way. It's the same concept as the little uh, like staircase we did out the back. Boom. And under all of these, you're just going to place, oh crap, I deleted it. Some redstone torches. Like so. And of course, on top of here, you'd place your plant or whatever. I'm just going to place a white tulip. Boom. That looks nice, actually. I'd recommend doing that design instead of that design because... That is weak. You know, the wood kind of ruins it. But, you know, we've put it there, so we're going to keep it there for now. That is definitely a better design, in my opinion. But, yeah, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. We have transformed a basic Minecraft village hut or house into a, a little modern kind of uh, house. We've done interior. Very, very compatible with survival players. So, if you are in survival, you can use it. If you're in creative, this would probably look quite nice as maybe, like, uh, something in, like, a traditional house's garden or something like that. If you were building, like, a city... Or a suburb or something like that i don't know it's up to you guys but yeah if you have enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like let's try and get to 200 likes on this video i mean we've kind of smashed that in all the other videos so i feel like 200 likes would be a pretty uh normal goal to kind of go for here but thank you so much for the support recently we're nearly at 25,000 subscribers which is mind-blowing you guys are killing it and i love you all so so much for it subscribe if you're new for content just like this put down in the comment section below what you want to see me transform next in a minecraft village Stay creative, and of course, I will see you in my next Minecraft video. Bye, guys.